In this episode of TPJ TV, we're at Falls Manufacturing in Butler, Wisconsin, with Greg Hosley of Bosher Precision Machine Tool and Ben Behrens, Plant Supervisor of Falls Manufacturing. We're here to look uh, in detail at the profile bending process on a profile bending machine. This machine is a PBT25 with a PC300 CNC control. Uh, it's a very simple machine, but uh, extremely powerful and flexible. Uh, with, we think, an extremely simple yet powerful uh, CNC control. Uh, some of the features that differentiate our machine uh, are we have individual geared motors uh, for each roll. It's a three-roll machine. Uh, these front rolls can be separated and, and locked in place to whatever distance you need here. A wider distance gives you a larger uh, mechanical advantage a smaller center distance gives you a tighter radii. Uh, we do all of our actual bending force is developed with a hydraulic cylinder that's attached to this roll, uh, which of course is also driven uh, by an independent geared motor. Um, so we have uh, three rolls. These two are fixed. They're obviously turning. Um, this one does the bending. Uh, each of these is fed to the control. Uh, the position of those rolls is fed 200 times per second to the CNC, and that's really um, all there is to the mechanical part of the machine. Uh, the control is very graphic, and uh, to make a new program, you go into, there's a little picture of a folder, you pick a program that's already in it, or you press here, create new program, it's a touchscreen control. You can name it, type in what you want, um, and then just simply needs about five pieces of information. One is the diameter or width of your profile that you're bending. Uh, one is the center distance of the front rolls. Uh, one is the diameter of the tools that you're using. And then um, you can go and enter in uh, the shape that you want to form. Uh, another nice feature of the machine is the tooling is very modular. This is just a spacer. This is an inch and a quarter tube roll. It just drops in and then we put more spacers in. Oh. Let's get here. And then we just put the cap on and that is how you set up one roll then uh, we use the same spacer underneath the roll for each of the other two so once we have the uh, tools on we will adjust the support arm and you can just eyeball it in the beginning this will support your part and as a, a part is bent it has a natural tendency to want to dive down so this will keep it nice and flat as it comes around so we will just adjust these uh, eyeball here and then when we put the material in between the rolls we'll be able to see that it's just touching this or not so we can adjust it up and down. But to show the control capabilities Ben's going to program a, a multi-radius part that might be used uh, in something like a roll cage for a fork truck or earth moving equipment so he will just add one program line to the bottom and then enter in from a quick sketch that he has. The first bend is a radius of 96 and he wants it to be 24 inches long, so you can enter either the length of the radius or the angle, and you give it one and it will calculate the other. And then he adds uh, another segment in, and from his little sketch, he has a 14 inch radius. And he knows the, calc the machine calculated the angle that he's going to have. It told him it would be 75.77 because he wants that to come straight across at the top. Then he has a straight section for 20 inches. 
and you can see the control drawing the part as each segment is added on. And then he has a 14 inch radius, 75 degree segment. And then finishes with a 20 inch straight. The, the machine will tell you if you have out uh, if your radius is too small for the positioning or of the tools or of the part, um, but Ben created a uh, legal part, and if you just touch it, you can see the different segments, um, and it tells you each segment there, so you, it's very easy to go back in and modify it, so if we want to look at segment three and make it longer, we can just go here and make that uh, 30 inches, and it just spreads it out. All right, at this point we're going to set up the machine, get it ready to bend. We have all of our height set on our rollers. Um, we're going to pull out the Y-axis, feed the part in, just so that it's past center of our outboard roller here. And we are going to start, start the machine. slower when it's in a larger radius or it's in a straight it will go much faster so you can see now it's bending it's when the center roll is bending flying force uh, it will go much slower in the y-axis and then it will speed up as it's in the bend that's all calculated automatically in the control So we program that bend to make it in three passes. You can set it so you can make it in one pass, two, three, up to 15. adjusted our outboard roller here. Um, we're going to roll a spiral, so we wanted to raise this up a little bit so that we get everything to, to spiral up and clear all the tooling. At this point we're going to insert the tube. Put our Y encoder on. And run the part.
after the bend, um, what you want to do is make sure your radii are correct. So we have an automatic measuring device. You set it to zero, just on a flat surface, so we use the machine. We know that this segment here is exactly 300 millimeters and the control knows that. So by putting this up against the radius, sliding this in, uh, the machine automatically calculates the radius and it shows up on the display screen. So Ben can compare that the actual radius and the program radius are the same. If they're not, he presses a button there for automatic correction and the control automatically um, changes the amount of force it takes to bend this part. So that's important if you're doing tubing, maybe the diameter changes slightly or the wall thickness changes slightly. If you're uh, using aluminum, a lot of times hardness changes from part to part or lot to lot. So um, this way we can get your first part to be an accurate part because we can re-bend this to get the exact radius. So if you're like Falls and you're doing a lot of one-off parts or small production runs, you're not wasting a lot of parts. Your first part's a good part. On a daily basis of Falls Manufacturing, we never know what we're going to have to roll. We could do multi-radiuses, uh, spirals, rolled formed and extrusions, single radiuses, and we can do it all on one machine. TPJ TV would like to thank Ben Behrens of Falls Manufacturing Incorporated and Greg Hosley of Bosher Precision Machine Tool. For more episodes of TPJ TV, go to thefabricator.com. For TPJ TV, I'm Eric Lundin, editor of Two Pipe Journal.